I think I will have to ch- 6. Posters. These are enlarged write-ups that are strategically placed in an effort to inform people about a certain event. Posters seek to inform unlike advertisements which seek to persuade for profit. A lot of creativity is required to come up with a poster. Posters are found in many places such as Notice boards Bus stops Walls Vehicles on advertising boards E T C Features of an effective poster Use of attractive colors and graphics Must be clear enough for one to see from far Must be brief so as to pass on the message to those quickly passing by must be well written out, grammatical, to look credible. Must be written in morally acceptable language. Must contain all relevant information so as not to mislead. Example of a poster. Invites all to, our end of year. Example of a poster. Invites all to, our end of year. Venue. Our school hall. Time, 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Date, the 30th of October 2020. The guest artist will be the Matata Band. Come expecting to be fully entertained. Seven, public notices. These are instructions or announcements or appeals intended for a large number of people. Notices can be put on notice boards, in the dailies or in areas where they will capture the attention of a large group of people. A good public notice must contain the following. It must indicate its source. It must be indicated that it is a public notice. It is meant for all. It should contain a heading that captures the message carried in the poster. The heading should either be underlined or in bold. It should be eye-catching. The message should be kept as brief as possible but it should also capture the intended message. A notice should be signed at the bottom either by the person sending it out or the participating partners. Example of a public notice. UZALENDO High School. To notice. There will be a staff meeting. On the 3rd of May 2020 in the school library starting at 8 a.m. Please be punctual. Yours. Jisoy Kepa, Principal. 8. 